Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! Like I said at the start of the series, I was gonna do a few episodes of just messing around, and then I was gonna actually do the training and the tutorials to learn the game. I think now's that time, because last episode we got nowhere fast, and I think it's time to learn the basics now. So here we go! Time for training! Welcome to flight school, everybody! Welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction! I'm some guy, what? <laughs> Werner von Kermid. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit or fly transcontinental flight or step onto the very surface of the moon, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. Should be pretty easy, even if you're not famous rock scientists like myself. I'm not a famous rocket scientist. Oh, I could put this anywhere. Look at that. I'm already learning. All right. First part required in any vessel construction is the command module. This part will either contain the a plucky Kerbal crew or an automated pilot mechanism. Select the command module from the parts list. Oh. The hell was that noise? Was that him? Okay. Interesting choice. It's not what a famous Kerbal rocket scientist like me would have chosen. Um, did I not have any? I didn't have any other options here. I thought you were a rocket scientist guy. You should have known that. <laughs> You're just starting. Okay, next. If you ever need to move the vessel around on screen, click the uh, root in case. Okay, I knew that. I did learn that eventually. Uh, line more parts. Also, if you need more information on a specific part, just hover the cursor over above the toolbox on the left. Right clicking it will give you even more information. Oh, look at that. Stuff. Torque, fl flag, some other stuff that I don't really. Okay. Let's see. Next. Wait, what was. Are the okay, these things are flashing up here. It's confusing me. Add a fuel tank. I can do that. We need some fuel to burn. Select a well, the only fuel tank on the left. You really need to start researching. You're missing out on all the cool parts. Okay. Anyway, click the fuel tank. I click the fuel tank. Attach the fuel tank. Not too bad. <laughs> you think I am getting the hang of this? Rockets. Okay, let's add rockets. Really? This is... See, this is nice. They have, like, a limited amount of parts here, so I know which ones to pick. That would have been good having beforehand. Okay. What is that? You need to make sure the rocket motor connects to the fuel tank? Did they do that on purpose? I think they did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. Stages! You may have noticed a new icon appear. Down here, yep, the stages. Parts that have actions will appear there. You can use new stages to control the order in which uh, these will be triggered. These actions will also be triggered manually at any time using the right menu for each part. What the hell is this? Radial attachments? This might have been something I wanted to learn about. Some parts are designed to be attached to the surface of others. Radially, these allow you to move intricate radial structures and even attach more rockets. That's, yep, that's something that would have been good to know before. <laughs> Particular part we uh, we have here is decoupler. This part does a tiny bit of an explosion, separates the parts, previous stage, blah, 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 blah. Okay, depleted fuel tanks, I knew that. Now attach some of these decouplers to the vessel. So this, oh! Yeah, see, these are along the sides. I was looking for something like this, but I could never find it, and that's why I didn't know what it was. So let's put these where? Along here? Or where am I putting these? To the vessel. Up here? Is that where they want me to put these things? Should I, uh, get a couple of them? Add some. Try attaching solid fuel boosters to the decouplers. I feel like I should put them right here, but... Because, like, where else would I put them? Try attaching solid fuel boosters to the decouplers. Finding these in the engine tab. Are they going to let me actually click the engine tab? Oh, yeah, look at that. Solid fuel! Um, I have a feeling this isn't right. <laughs> I don't know, I just have a strange feeling this is not right. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. What are, can I move these? I can't put them on down here. Okay, so they definitely have to be here. Next. Your ship looks interesting. If you want to modify the order which parts are activated during the flight, click and drag them. Stage is okay. If you want to see centers of mass, lift or thrust, I know that that's down there. Saving your ship. What? This is my ship? Is this gonna get me somewhere? Really? You should probably bring attention that you just started a space career if you don't have any decouplers available in career mode. Okay. Last but not least, make sure you assign a name to your vessel.
Done. Poop ship. Because this looks like a pile of poop. Next. Ready to rock it. Looks like you almost uh, time's almost up. I have to go give another science briefing. The world's media. Pointing out to you that this very few parts... Research unlock. So I have to do research to unlock more parts. If you don't know how to do this, come join me for the science tutorial. I guess I need to do that. For now, I will unlock all parts for you to play around. Clicking the tabs. Please, okay. So I, I knew most of that except for this decoupler. That would have been good knowing before. So he just unlocked everything for me. You know what? I'm going to do another tutorial in a little bit, but there has to be at least one rocket launch here. So let's launch Poop Ship and see how well it does. Never mind. Let's just do the next tutorial, because apparently you're not allowed to do that. Training, flight basics. We're going to flight basics next, because it would be nice to learn how to fly. This is definitely something I did need. Welcome to the Kerbal Space Center launch facility. I'm Gene Kerman, and I will teach you the basics of piloting spacecraft. Thank you. I definitely need this. I trust you already checked out the basic construct tutorial. I did. Okay. Flying spacecraft is all about being in control in <laughs> generally chaotic situation. I was definitely never in control of anything I ever done in this game so far. As a pilot, your main flight control will be affect the pitch, roll, yawn on the ship. Let's look at these. All in the order the controls will be look locked until needed in this okay. The pitch is the angle of the nose of the ship in relation to the horizon. A positive pitch means the angle of the nose pointing upward, while a negative pitch means okay down. So W and S can pitch it up and down. Now try and notice... Oh, there it is. Down there in the left. Okay. Bottom left. Good. So that goes up. That goes down. Next. Yawn of the ship around the vertical axis. This is side to side motion of the ship's nose. Positive yawn angle means the ship's turn to the right. Negative means turn to the left. Okay. So that's those. Alright. And then... I don't know what the other one's going to be. Q and E? Roll. Alright. Roll is the rotation of the ship around its longitudinal... <laughs> longitudinal... Or front to back axis. It is the motion of leaning, banking, left, right. Okay. Roll. Pitch and other things. Got it. Next. Controlling the pitch, you want to roll together. Keep the ship in control. Let's do... Let's look at another basic flight control. Throttle! Okay, so left shift, left control, throttle up and down. Oh, I was pressing the max throttle that one attempt. Throttle control affects the output of power of the sh ship's engines. More throttle means more thrust, therefore more speed and lifting power. Note that the throttle will only affect the engines that can be throttled, like liquid engines. Solid boosters don't have a throttle control. And they will burn at the top capacity until their fuel runs out. Holding the ship at full throttle over a long period of time will cause the engines to overheat and will eventually explode. Oh, good to know. Throttle is controlled by the following keys. Do I have to practice? Yep, there it goes up. And there it goes down. Max. Min. Let's, let's put it back where it should be. There we go. Next. Throttle pitch roll. You own main controls. You'll need for mastering successful crash-free flight. I don't feel any more prepared for launches here. <laughs> Remember that all these controls have limited amount of effectiveness, so the bigger the heavier ships, you will probably need to respond more sluggishly control, la 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 la. It's also good to keep in mind that the stages are separate from the ship and will become lighter. Okay, easy control. Now let's look at the rest of flight controls. Yes, let's. SAS stands for Stability Augmentation System, although Kerbal astronauts usually refer to it as Sickness Avoidance Scheme. Ah, huh, clever. <laughs> Whatever it stands for, what it does is try to stop the ship from spinning around using this computer-controlled auto-torque drive compensator, trademarked, <laughs> technology to counteract the rotation of the ship. SAS can be active momentarily by holding down the F key or toggling it with the T key. Hmm. Something tells me I'm going to be using that the entire time. It's also worth noting that a skilled pilot doesn't have to rely on SAS module to keep those ships set steady. Well, guess what? I am farthest from skilled. RCS stands for Reaction Control System. It consists of small thrusters that help control the ship's orientation and translation. The RCS can be activated by pressing R. Give it a try and notice the RCS LED turns on when activated. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on. Right there. Boop. What about this other thing? Oh, look, SAS. I think I accidentally turned that on once. 
Mind for the RCS to do anything, your ship must have RCS thrusters and monopropellant tanks installed. RCS is particularly useful when out in space. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, something like that. It's along the top to control the pod when it's in space, but I never really got into space anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Staging. In flight, all the planning you put into the staging sequence of your ship comes into practice. From launch to the final deployment, set of parachutes, you can control the activation, several steps, blah, blah, blah. Space to start, activate the launch next step. Okay, I know all this. One more thing on the staging. If you automatically generate the stage setup, or even one of you made a strife, change your mind, go back next. The nav, nav ball, what the hell is that? Oh, that's this thing. Important part of flying is knowing how your ship is orientated. Oh yeah, I guess that would make sense. That's what that does. <laughs> Good pilot always aware of the altitude and velocity vector. See, it's, I'm getting to the point where I'm tired of reading, so I'm kind of starting to skip things, which I'm probably going to regret later on. Big round instrument, lower ball, blah, 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 blah. Death-free flight, your ship's nose in relation to the horizon, as well as heading compass, blah, 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 blah. Several icons that do some stuff. Okay. Flight instruments, up for the screen, altimeter, vertical speed and atmosphere gauge. That's, that's this junk, okay. Next. Crew, okay, that's these guys. Next. Ready to launch. Shut up. Here we go. We're off. Lift off. Up you go. Now try practicing all the controls we discussed. There's the roll. Oh, let's see if we can get this thing spinning like crazy. <laughs> and then the pitch. Oh, too much. Okay. And then the, the yawn. All right, I get it. Oh, you can actually see the fins moving. Next. Just don't get too carried away. Keep the ship steady because you're going to space today. We're going to space today. Uh-oh. 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 Wrong way. Wrong way. Um. Um. Crap, which one? It's this one. No, it's going the wrong way. No. <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. Crap, crap, crap. Already. I'm failing already. Okay, I'm pitching this thing the wrong way, aren't I? No, it was going the right way. However, um... <laughs> we went too crazy, everybody. Abort! Um... <laughs> so much for going in space today. Let's try that again. But, uh, let's not mess around with the pitch roll and everything else. Are you kidding me? Are they seriously gonna make me go through all this stuff again? Thank god I can just spam the next button. <laughs> SAS, RCS, staging, nav ball, instruments, crew, ready to launch. Okay, right where we should be. Launch! Oh god, again. We weren't going up. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> we didn't have enough velocity to begin with. And here we go again. Wow. That was glorious. How are you guys still alive? They're still alive! Oop, I just... Wow. Okay, now that we destroyed the launch pad, I can't even rotate the camera around or anything. Time to do that again! <laughs> Already! Don't get carried away. Yeah, I can't do anything. Oh, here we go. Amazing. So that's twice I failed the flippin' flight tutorial. Set your throttle to max, which hasn't been the case since it restarted. I thought they were boosters, so I thought it said not to worry about it, but they're not boosters. That would've been nice if they gave me a little warning there. Okay, let's try this, like, for the 800th time. <laughs> Hey, we did it! Oh, God, what a disaster! Okay, we gotta keep this thing level now because they don't. We don't have SAS. Okay, C. Let's look at through the eyes of a Kerbal. We don't see much. There's no windows or anything. Oh, there's the nav ball thing. C. Oh, and then you press C again to get out of it. I get it. Okay, let's see. I don't want to touch anything. Those things are gone. Those things are gone. 
Here we go. We're doing it! We're getting into space! Go team! It's working! It's actually working! Now that I actually understood that I needed to do what I needed to do to get this thing into the air. What the hell is that? I really hope that was something on the ground exploding and not me. Look at all the liquid fuel we have! This is what what, what I was missing. <laughs> We're off on a slight angle, but I don't care. It's good enough. It's still good enough. We're not flopping around at all, which is a first for me. Thickest part of the atmosphere is a good time to steer your ship towards the horizon in order to widen your orbit. Point the ship... Wait, 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 wait. To where the blue and orange parts of that ball meet. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's getting there. Less resistance now that there's no atmosphere. So be gentle. What's that? Close your orbit. You are now definitely in space. But this is no time to celebrate. Press M to see your current trajectory. I'm not seeing anything. Why'd you tell me to press M? There's nothing here. Thank you for that. Okay. Nope, nope. Stay. Stay. Stay ship. If I could roll. How do I roll again? That's how I roll. Oh my god. This is how we roll. Boom. Look at that. Okay, you're officially in space, but this is no time to celebrate yet. Press M. Okay, that didn't work. If you close your orbit, you'll just end up back on Kerbin for now. Trust me, let's press X to stop your engines. Oh, they stopped for me. Um... Click the app symbol to warp. What? What are they? See, I'm trying to read and pay attention, but this is not. It's like texting and driving. Reading while piloting piloting a spaceship. Um. So we're floating, which is good. Click the app symbol and select warp here option. Is this on the map that doesn't exist? Apparently, there should. <laughs> Where's my map? Oh, there we go. It finally flipping loaded, but I I can't rotate or anything, and I just pressed all the wrong buttons. Why can't I move? Focus on Kerbin. My focus is not on Kerbin. Hello? Game? Why won't you let me rotate? God, this tutorial's a disaster. Like, really. Warp your option. Turn your ship... Burn all the fuel throttle. If you run out of fuel in the middle, get out of the map view. Oh, God. I don't know what this warp here button is. Should I have lost that? Well, it's gone now. Yeah, the camera is stuck on auto, and I have no idea how to get out of auto. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to get out of the auto camera, which is screwing over the map, I have a feeling. And I don't know how to stop this from doing this. I'm pressing every key I own. Cannot switch vessels on the scenario. Cannot warp. Focus on Kerbin. Yeah, I can't I can't exit out of auto camera unless it's something around here. Space center. Nope, I'm not seeing it anywhere. That's kind of very disappointing. Okay, well, I need to end this here. The good news is we finally made it into space! Although we are falling, but like I said, I don't know how to adjust anything when I can't see anything. Thank you, Auto Camera, for making my life miserable. But we did it! We made it into space! Go team! I'm ending this here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed the help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.